In this question, we are required to find the potential difference between points P and Q. This means we want to find out the difference in the potentials at this point and at this point. So we want to calculate V P Q, which is equal to potential at P minus potential at Q. So this is our task. And before I provide you the solution of this problem, I want you to pause this video and try to solve this question on your own. I hope you tried solving this question and now it's my turn to solve this question. And you can see that in order to find out VPQ, it is important to find VP and VQ. So we will focus on the calculation of potential at this point VP and potential at this point VQ and I will use nodal analysis to find VP and VQ and we know in nodal analysis the first thing we do is to find out how many principal nodes are there in the network and in this network we have 1, 2, 3, and four principal nodes and I will select the bottom node as the reference node and because of this this node will have the potential equal to 10 volts we know this point now we will apply KCL at node P and for this we will assume our potential VP is the largest potential in the network and therefore all the currents will leave the node P let's say this current is current I1 this current is current I2 and this current is current I3 and according to KCL I1 plus I2 plus I3 is equal to 0 and now when you focus on current I1 in the network, you will find I1 is equal to 2 amperes. Therefore, we have 2 in place of I1 and current I2 is equal to Vp minus 10 divided by 2. Vp minus 10 divided by 2 and current I3 is equal to Vp minus 0 divided by 8 that is vp divided by 8 equal to 0 from here when you calculate vp you will find vp is equal to 4.8 volts so we have calculated vp it is 4.8 and now we will calculate vq and to calculate vq we will assume vq is the largest potential in the network and therefore all the currents will leave the node Q and let's say this current is equal to I1 prime this current is equal to I2 prime and this current is equal to I3 prime and according to KCL I1 prime plus I2 prime plus I3 prime will be zero i1 prime when you look at in the network you will find it is equal to minus 2 amperes i2 prime is equal to vq minus 10 divided by 4 vq minus 10 divided by 4 i3 prime is equal to vq minus 0 divided by 6 so we have vq divided by 6 when you simplify this, you will find VQ is equal to 10.8 volts. So we have calculated VQ as well, 10.8 volts. When you subtract them, you will find VPQ is equal to minus 6 volts. Therefore, the answer is option C minus 6 volts. So this is all for the problem. Now we will move on to our homework problem. And in the homework problem, I have
taken one question from gate 2000 electrical paper and in this question you are required to find the equivalent load that is you are required to find the equivalent resistance between this terminal and this terminal so try to solve this question and once you have your answer post it in comment section now i will end this lecture here see you in the next one